Hi guys, how's it going? It's me, Megan, and I am back with another video. If you guys are new to my channel, I'm a full-time reseller on Poshmark and a few other platforms, but mostly Poshmark. Um, and here on YouTube, I like to make reseller content. I'll do it sold videos, I'll do unboxings, I'll do hauls like this, I'll do all that good stuff. So if that is something you guys are interested in, please make sure to like and subscribe, and that way you'll never miss one of my videos. So first things first, sorry <laughs> that I haven't put out a video in a really, really long time. I did not plan on um, not posting, but I think the last video I kind of mentioned that me and my husband went on like a little weekend getaway thing, which was fun. And then we, that week my husband took off and we went <clears throat> to see his family in San Diego and to go to a concert. So then when I got back from the concert or from that trip, I got really sick from the concert. I'm pretty sure just from being in public, um, so close to so many other people that I'm just like not used to. <laughs> since I spent a lot of time by myself. Um, so then I was sick for a week, and then I've just spent the last couple of weeks just trying to, you know, catch up from pretty much not working for two weeks um, with reselling. And now I don't know why, but my voice is kind of going out. But I know you can't see her, but I got the cats um, this, like, pet stroller to take them on walks. I'll put up a picture. We only took them on one, but they really liked it. But Sunday, my cat is enjoying just sleeping in it when it's here like in the living room um but yeah so anyway i just got back from the bins aka why i look a mess <sighs> today is march 12th i was at the bins it was a decent day today um i was at the bins for like for like three and a half hours maybe um it's a dollar 59 a pound at the bins i go to in sacramento on Franklin Boulevard is the one I go to. There's two. Uh, and I got 46 pounds. So I spent 73, 24, no shoes. It just weren't great today. Oh, Sunny is gonna join me. Okay, my mic died and I don't know how much or when that, when it died. <laughs> I'd say the majority of this is bread and butter or a lot of stuff I kind of just picked based on style. Um, but I am kind of focusing on spring and summer stuff. I've really enjoyed picking up these like open knits from the bins. They seem to do really well, especially in a cream color. This is actually just like an old Forever 21 piece, size small, but it's really oversized and really like Y2K and adorable. I honestly don't even remember. I know I just got back from the bins, but I don't remember what I bought at all. This was a kind of interesting piece. I liked the way it looked. It's this brand Pardazio, and it is 30% wool. I believe it's a men's 2XL. Comps were like in the $30 range, so I thought I would try it out. It's like faux leather. I don't know. I think it's kind of interesting looking. I did get two full Ikea bags, which is great. That's what I like to try and do when I'm there. This is a marine layer piece, it's a size large. It's just a simple black dress. It's polyester and I don't know if that's leather. I didn't check. It does need to be stain treated. There's some deodorant on it. it just says 100% polyester, so it's probably not real um, leather, which is fine. Makes it easier to wash. These I thought were kind of cute. These are Zara. I've definitely slowed down on picking Zara, even at the bins. It has to be kind of cute. These I think would be cute for um, St. Patrick's Day. I don't even know when St. Patrick's Day is. It could be like tomorrow. So in that case, it probably won't sell, but it's like green and white gingham with these gold buttons. I don't really like the buttons. Someone could take them off if they wanted to, but I think the buttons make it more St. Patty's Day like. This is like a Y2K Old Navy sweater. I don't know. I thought it was cute. It's a size medium. It's just green and then it has this dragonfly knit on it. I don't know why, but I thought that was really cute. <laughs> Here is, I think, an Old Navy activewear jumpsuit in a size small, all in motion. All in motion's Old Navy, right? I keep forgetting. Can you not? That also has a bunch of deodorant stains on it. This I really liked the graphic for. I didn't comp it, but I usually pick up like band tees at the bins. It's ACDC. And again, I just like, that was like an all over graphic. 
but then it's from their 2000 tour or their their tour from the year 2000 i guess because it says tour 2000 on the back i didn't comp it but i thought that was pretty cool y2k a hey. it's a small slash medium but it's definitely more like a men's extra large it's very big nice sunny day right there they like to watch you this is just a Budweiser tea. I feel like I mentioned this a lot in my bins hauls, but Budweiser kind of has, is kind of trendy right now, I guess you could say. A lot of fast fashion are making different like Budweiser graphic tees. And I thought this was pretty cute. It's a size large. This I was excited to find. It does have a stain. So hopefully I can get that out, but it's a really pretty dress. And the pattern, oh geez. No, no, you're not going to do that. Black and white. I think the pattern changes from the top to the bottom. Maybe not. I don't know. Um, but it's Peruvian Connection, size medium. I haven't had the best luck with this brand, but the last piece I sold, sold like the same day. So I am excited about that. Their stuff's usually 100% cotton, and this is a maxi dress, which is really nice. So hopefully that's machine washable and I can get that stain out. This was just a cute cardigan. I know I said I'm, well, I don't know if it ca if the mic died before I said that or not. No. But um, I'm trying to buy more spring summer stuff, but I really liked this like contrasting plaid brown cardigan. It's Hollister, it's a size large, it's cropped. I just kind of like the way that looked. This is an Urban Outfitters piece. This is super soft. It's like that eyelash material. I usually do have the best luck with Urban Outfitters brands when it just says Urban Outfitters, not when it's like one of their other lines. It's a really nice cream um, cardigan, really oversized and has, again, that nice eyelash material. I feel like cream is a very popular color right now. I found a purse that was mixed in with the clothes. This is like, I think the second time I found this at the bins, the first time it, I don't think I ended up listing it because it wasn't in great condition but this is it's a little hobo international crossbody bag it's really good condition it's purple it has two zip pockets and it's crossbody it's very small but i do think you could fit your phone in there i don't know if there's something in here do you like it i'm sorry if you can hear them doing i don't know what outside um what was I saying? I don't remember. Oh, I didn't comp the purse. But I've heard good things about that brand, so. I'm not gonna... And it's at the bin, so I thought I'd pick it up and try it out. This I also hadn't heard of before, but it felt really nice. It's just a hoodie. And the brand is Jason Scott. And I looked it up because it says Made in Peru down here. And I think I've mentioned this a few times, but if it says it's made in a country that's a little bit different, like Peru or Bangladesh are probably two of the big ones. Oh my God. Um, then I comp it. And comps looked pretty good for this. I can't remember. I think they were around 40. I think certain pieces by this brand do better than others. So like a t-shirt might do, not do super well, but this I think will. <sighs> Sunny day. This has a little bit of a stain, but this is vintage Abercrombie & Fitch. Um, it's a size four and I think it's a skirt. Look at how small, like it doesn't even, it's like from my wrist to not even my elbow, maybe just a little bit. Um, I'm pretty, I don't think it'd be a top, maybe it would be, but I'm pretty sure this is a skirt and I think that'll sell on Depop. <laughs> Come here. Stay right there so that people can see you. These are a pair of vintage Gap jeans. These might be from 2001. I'm not sure. But I thought they were cool. I liked the style. Someone did release the hem, but that's fine. It has this Gap denim patch on the back. I liked this wash as well. What size is it? It is a four. That's what all that looks like. Paper tag. 
really pretty wash. I do love denim. There was so much denim there today. I try to look at all of it, but most of the denim at the bins is, you know, not great. This I just picked up based on style. I liked the tie front. I liked the pattern and I liked the big bell sleeves. Oh, I just think that's so pretty. It doesn't feel great. So I don't imagine that this is anything great. Probably just like a boutique brand. It's called Pink Ripple. Again, I didn't comp it, but I'll look it up and I'll try and figure it out. This was interesting. This was in somebody's throwback. But I picked it up because it was new at Tags. And maybe it's missing the yoga mat part to it, but it's a yoga mat bag from Barefoot Yoga. And I thought it was cute. I think you can loop this part around here. I don't know, but I thought it was cute. It has like pockets. I feel like you could put golf clubs in here too, but it, you know, it's not very sturdy. Didn't comp that, but I thought, you know, it's probably worth something. This, sometimes with weird band tees, or at least that's what I think this is, I try and comp them. A lot of the times I can't find anything and then I just end up bringing it home so I can dig more into it. The brand, brand and or band is James Blake. It's kind of faded. Size extra large. On the back it says, friends that break your heart, which I imagine might be the album. I don't know. There is like a big old stain right here. And I kind of found the shirt, but it was sold out online and I didn't look into, you know, I didn't look too hard into it to see if people were reselling it for a lot. These, I saw the print and I recognized them immediately. Just a pair of like Y2K high school musical <laughs> pajama pants. It says EHS, which is the high school and Wildcats. I think somebody would like these. <laughs> I didn't look up this brand. Um, it's called Cubicle, but I picked this up based on style and now I'm noticing some small holes in the back, but hopefully that'll be okay. But it's a really cute maxi dress with the buttons all the way down the front, which I love. And then like embroidery in the little front slit. Again, I think I'll probably sell on Depop. There's another vintage piece. What brand was this one? This was Vintage Max Studio. Don't know how old, but there's that. I really liked the little roughly front detail. I think I thought I was going to try this on, but it was either the size is faded. It was either an extra small or an extra large, which you imagine I could probably tell from looking at it, but I can't. I don't know, but if I sell it, I'll just take measurements so then give it my best guess. But then it has the cute little ruffle at the bottom too. Thought that was really nice. Max Studio is not really something I pick up, but I did like that a lot. This was also in someone's throwback, Abercrombie & Fitch, size small, smocked dress with the little off the shoulder sleeves. I pretty much pick up anything um, Abercrombie & Fitch at the bins if it's in good condition and cute. This has some holes in the armpits. This is like a little Nike baby tee. Pretty sure it's vintage. Probably from like the early 2000s. That's the tag. Size small. There are holes in the pit, but I think that'll sell really quickly on Depop. This I picked up for myself. No tags, no size. Hopefully it fits. It's just a bodysuit with these fun like puff sleeves. Don't know about that. Down. Um, this I think was like the first thing I found when I got there. A pair of Judy Blue jeans, which is great. They aren't like the best sellers for me. I know people like to rave about them, but they sell pretty consistently in like the $30 range. These are a size 27, distressed and skinny, which I think is fine, especially for the summer. I thought I'd put this back, but I didn't. This I don't know about this, but we'll see. This is a Chaps, which is a line, the lower line of Ralph Lauren, wool blend blazer, and I just was obsessed with all those buttons. <laughs> I love buttons. I feel like this is kind of trendy right now. Like this many button up buttons. <laughs> just 
keep saying the word buttons. They say chaps. It's a size large, which is a great size. This I also found, I don't know, I might craft with this or maybe I'll sell it. It has all these little bows on it, which bows are really trendy right now. And they're like little bouquets. Or maybe I'll have my husband wear it in like his pocket at a wedding. I don't know, but I liked that. Or maybe I'll just hoard it forever like I do with most of the things like that I buy at the bins. Here is a denim distressed, pretty sure intentionally distressed with the studs on the shoulder and on the front. Rails, snap up. This is a size small, but it's pretty oversized. I love finding rails at the bins. Sometimes it'll get you a lot, sometimes only 20 bucks, but I do pick it up every time. Here is a pair of vintage Lauren Jeans Company, Ralph Lauren um, jean shorts, size 12. I thought they were cute. They're like that longer style. That's pretty trendy. This, I didn't look at the size. She still has the pads in it. This, from just feeling it, I knew what it was. I'm not seeing a size right now, so I'll have to look a bit later because the pads are still in it. But this is a cute little Lululemon tank top, also has deodorant marks on it. There's that. I forget what this is called, the Align tank or something maybe? I'm pretty sure I have two of these that I bought from Lululemon um, in two different colors. They're pretty trendy. This is a pair of Torrid size 18 girlfriend jeans. Again, a light wash and distressed. Thought those would be nice for the summer. This I picked up, I think to craft with. We went down to San Diego to see my in-laws. We got our Christmas presents because we didn't see them for the holidays. And my Christmas present was um, my mother-in-law's old sewing machine which was really cool. And I just like this style, like utility style. This is just universal thread from Target, no size. Um, but I think I'm gonna craft with this. If not, I, I could sell it. I like the style, but i craft with that. This is a pair of, I think, John Galt. Yes, John Galt, which is Brandy Melville. Cargo pants, really cool. Black, do pretty well with their pants. Um, I only pick up John Galt and Brandy Melville at the bins, but it does sell for me. Kind of bread and butter, not for much usually, but sometimes it sells pretty quickly. Sometimes I sit on it, sometimes it sells. These I didn't comp, and I don't know if these are older or not. I'll stop to look into them, but they're a pair of Levi's blue corduroy pants, 514s with the white tab on the back, size 32. It's the white tab. Don't know if the white tab really means anything, but I liked these. I liked the way they looked. Here's another cream open knit shirt. This I think is vintage, yeah, Abercrombie. Well, when I say vintage, I mean like Y2K probably. Um, has that cute cable knit, but it's like all open knit. Size extra small, but this could easily fit. Like a large, probably. Right, last thing for this bag. These are also Abercrombie and Fitch. These were an extra, extra small, tall. But they're a really cute pleated pair of like tapered black trousers, like a black wash. I do actually pretty well with the size extra, extra small. I feel like I've mentioned that before. It's so just normal, extra small. This I picked up based on style. I don't know if it's a tunic or a dress, but it has this like handkerchief hem, I guess you could say. And then this open knit. I don't think it'd be long enough to be a dress. So probably like a tunic top. It's from the brand Vivid Collection of New York. Never heard of it. Probably not anything as far as a brand goes, but I think based on style that will sell. It's very like fairy core. This is something else I picked up to craft with. Um, it's like a giant dust bag, but this, I mean, what? This also has bows on it and flowers. So I'll probably make something out of that. What's this? Oh, this is a Brandy Melville piece. 
like a waffle knit long sleeve. It says Malibu. Ma Brady Melville is usually one size. This is actually a bigger piece from them. Usually their one sizes are like smalls. This is probably like a medium or a large. I found a bunch of this brand today. It's called Young LA. Comps were a little bit all over the place when I looked them up. So I only picked up a few of the pieces. So I'll have to wait and see if these actually do well. These are a pair of sweat shorts, size medium. Some things I didn't pick up because it had stains on it. This I also didn't look up, but I liked the style of. It says on, the brand is on you. And I've been selling a lot of things with this cute little like large collar. Again, the mini buttons in the front that I think are just so cute. It says it's size small on the inside tag, but I, this could fit me. I am not a size small. Um, I'll have to look that up. Hopefully it's something good, but the inside tag kind of just looks like a boutique tag, which is fine. This is Wild Fable. I think I'm gonna try this on, but I don't think I'm going to like it. <laughs> but this plaid dress I think is just really cute. Very retro, good for the spring and summer. So if I don't like it, I'll just sell it. What's this? This is a Life is Good long sleeve, probably a men's. This is a size large, yeah, large men's. It's been a long time since I've seen a Life is Good shirt. Again, I only picked these up at the bins but they usually sell for me, so I picked it up. This is like a vintage dress. I have a number of vintage dresses that I haven't posted yet that I need to, but this is probably gonna go into that pile of things. I just really liked the way that it looked. It's a really, really pretty color. It's like satin on top. I don't know if, I'm guessing this neck piece goes in the back. It has these kind of like jeweled rhinestone pieces. And it's the brand Fiesta, which I have sold before. Um, this is a size small. And yeah, it's just 100% polyester. I don't think this brand was ever very expensive, but I liked that. These <laughs> are Zara, again, um, size medium, but they're like a wide leg, very thick knit pant. Um, so I thought that somebody would want those. These are like insane. I don't think they're wool. No, just acrylic, nylon, and polyester. And they're probably like a cropped length. And then next to that, I found this, and I'm like, is this like a matching sweater? But no, it's J. Crew. It's a size extra small, and it was new with tags, which is great. I do like to find J. Crew. I probably would have passed on it if it wasn't new with tags, especially because it's a size extra small. Oh, and look, it's from 2012. Um, but it is 24% wool and 8% rabbit hair. I still sell older pieces. This could have fooled me. This, whoever bought this in 2012 and never wore it took really nice care of it because it, it, like, it feels brand new. Here's a pair of men's Prana swim trunks, size 36. They were in good condition, so I picked them up. I don't really know what's going on with this pattern. This is a really precious Y2K plaid dress. Again, with the plaid, but I liked this plaid print. It's like pink and blue. My lighting's really, really bad. Um, Tommy Hilfiger, size eight. I think this will photograph well. 100% cotton. This, I'm gonna comp this. I don't really think it's a great brand. It's called Okie Dokie. <laughs> um, but I'm gonna wash it, obviously. <laughs> and um, if comps aren't good, I'm going to give this to my sister, well, to my niece, <laughs> through my sister for Easter. I'm putting together a little Easter thing for her first Easter. This I'm so excited about. I'm gonna keep it for myself. Isn't that cool? It's like a really oversized crew neck sweatshirt. Then it has this like, it's like a velvet Spider-Man patch. No tag, no size, no nothing. I just thought it was really cool. And I'm gonna keep it for me. Yeah, for me. Is that okay by you, Sunny? All my stuff's falling down. This is a free people dress. 
It's a size small. I didn't look up the style or anything, the little metal tag, but it's, I think a maxi dress or a midi dress. It buttons up, more buttons. <laughs> the front, it's in black. I think it might be missing a belt, which is fine. I'll sell it without the belt. But uh, hopefully I can look up the OB number on the inner tag and find out the style name and some more about it. Another Y2K Abercrombie piece. These are men's and they're a size large and they're straight leg um, sweatpants. And I heard from, not personally, but I was listening to some resellers. Oh, darn it. You can hear the cracking of the waistband. I might sell it and just note that. We'll have to see, I'll have to comp it, but there was a reseller or is a reseller on YouTube that likes to sell Y2K men's Abercrombie pieces and they do really well for them. So I'll try that out. This is an Emporio Armani button up. I can't keep track of any of the lines of Armani, so don't know if this is good. Don't know if it's bad, has the little logo there. And then the buttons um, say, Emporio Armani. I did throw back a Dolce & Gabbana shirt, but I was just gonna send it into the real real. So if this doesn't have a lot of value, I'll probably just send this into the real real whenever I get enough stuff to send it into them. It's just cotton. It's a 2XL, but it seems kind of small. So maybe it's like an Italian 2XL. Here's more of that young LA brand. I really need to figure out what's going on with these. I don't think any of them have sizes. I don't know if they're reversible. This is kind of like a canvas. I think that's the back. Maybe, no, that must be the front. That's what that looks like. And then this one, which is kind of similar to that. This one's a long sleeve though. It has like no collar, but I'm pretty sure that's um, intentional. I don't know if I turn this inside out. Cause it says young LA on both sides. Don't know, maybe it's reversible. Here's another Brandy Melville piece. This does have some stains, which is sad because it's really, really cute. But what does it say? Chill since 1993, Malibu, California. And then it has the graphic on the back. And look how cute that is with the dinosaurs and everything. But yeah, it has a lot of discoloration up here. You can see that. I will stain treat it. We'll see what happens. Worst comes to worst, if I have to keep it, I could dye it. And that could be cool. I have some pink dye. I don't know if pink would look great, but I really liked, really, really liked that. This I also got for myself. I'm in need of a brain soap. I have looked up this brand a few times, but I don't think I ever picked it up because I don't think comps were great, but you'll have to let me know. Um, it's the brand Paradox. But uh, yeah, I've been in need of a new raincoat and this is honestly like new and hopefully actually water repellent. <laughs> a good find for myself. This is another new to me brand. I think it's Canadian. I don't know. It's forever then be young. I think B period young is the brand. Um, but it's this green and purple striped sweater and I picked it up because it's like wool 56% wool and 44% alpaca but I couldn't really find comps or much about it so we'll have to see with most of my things again something I picked up for myself I'm gonna craft with this it's like cushion backed which is perfect I for one of the things I want to do, kind of like a, a shirt vest situation, I wanted something like this. And this has some pretty cranes on it. Maybe I can make it reversible. I don't know. Is this the last piece? Oh, and this is the last piece. That went by pretty fast. Another brand that I really don't know anything about. So what a way to end this. Um, but it's the brand Academia. And of course, when I look up Academia sweater, it's like, just the aesthetic and not like a brand. But again, I picked it up because it's, one that was in a different language and it's made in Turkey. 
but it's a wool and cashmere and some other not important things blend. And it's a size extra large. So I'm gonna have to do some more research on this. There's no RN number. So yeah, if you know, let me know. It is tacked on there. And it's just a cute black sweater, pretty basic, and it has like this zip up side. But yeah, that was everything. <laughs> Again, I got all that stuff for $73.24. I don't know if there's probably not one thing in here that'll make my money back, which is always fun when that happens. Um, but definitely worth me always driving an hour to Sacramento to go to the bins. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what your favorite piece was. I know I had a lot of my own stuff mixed in here. And honestly, even though I went through all that, I already forgot again all this stuff I bought. But uh, yeah, you're gonna have to let me know what your favorite piece was. But yeah, hope you guys have a great time sourcing and selling this week and I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye. Bye.